what's going on today guys brotherhood of ram here now uh someone had requested that i uh, do a video on the diamond rio i don't remember his name um but this is for him so you'll probably know who you are uh, i do apologize for the wind as well guys the uh it's pretty windy out today but this is the diamond rio it's a dc 11620b it's got a 8v71 detroit in it 13 speed uh, let's see what else. Uh, single stack. Uh, I believe it's a 1983. I could be wrong, but the year... Where was it? Yeah. The year here is so worn off, it's very hard to uh, to make it out. Do, do a little walk around for you, show you inside and all that. Uh, it's got Dayton wheels, normal leaf springs. Uh, let's see what else truck does run but i don't remember the last time it was running it's got dayton's in the rear as well it's just hard to walk through here just a single stack again like i you know like i was saying but it's in pretty rough shape but it'd still be pretty salvageable honestly i mean you can get an idea with all the pinstriping you guys can see here, it was a pretty truck in its day when it was, you know, running down the road. Um, I will open the hood and everything, show you guys the motor. Uh, but you've got your diamond reel badging on the hood still. And like I said, you know, you can still see the pinstriping here, the, the one going down and around, up and around the hood. But it was a Beautiful truck. I mean, there's even pinstriping on the bumper. Your Diamond Rio radiator cap. Slash hood pull. Uh, let's see. Uh, it does not say when it was last on the road. It's hard to make it out. Let's see, I guess I'll show you the inside. There you go. Uh, so like I said, 13 speed, 8V71 Detroit. Uh, this truck was made in McCungee, Pennsylvania. Or not McCungee. Uh, Lansing, Michigan. There we go. So... There's your miles. Truck, you know, it's not running obviously now. It's been sitting for for quite a while. But again, 13 speed. So definitely could cruise down the road at a, a good RPM. But this would be your uh, kind of your line of sight, I guess. Uh, Diamond Rio. Trying to get it right. Uh, there we go. Excuse me. There we go. Diamond Rio. Uh, this is the only Diamond Rio at the location. Uh, I believe they had one more. I could be wrong. But it's... His old uh, his Twin Sticks garage would say passenger seat delete. But... Uh, the guy had commented on the Mac. The two Mac truck video there. And was curious about it. Uh, it's got the original... I don't know how well the camera's going to pick it up because the lighting is pretty terrible with the sun and everything, but it's the original splitter. Low, direct, all that. But I will uh, pause the video here and I will open the hood. Alright, so here you go. Here's the 8V71 Detroit. Um... I don't really know much about these motors. They're two-stroke, obviously. I don't. I'm assuming it's supercharged, probably. Uh, but yeah, I was actually kind of shocked when I was first checking this truck out years ago that it, you know, it was a Detroit two-stroke V8, and not some uh, like a 300 Cummins or a 3206 Cat or something along those lines. But She's been sitting quite a while, you can see there. But, you know, it's actually, it's still fairly salvageable. 
But for the person that wanted to see this, this is the Diamond Rio in her pride and glory. And uh, here she sits until uh, fate deals with her, I guess. But just take one little look back at that big old Detroit. Now, I do know what they sound like. They do sound pretty mean. I'm a I'm a Detroit guy. I do I like my comments and everything, but for uh, if it was a V8, I like the Detroit sound. They sound pretty mean. 12V71, 8V71, all that. They sound pretty mean. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like, subscribe, and comment.